guys, last, uh, last video we talked about the kipping pull-up. This time we're going to move into the next progression, which would be the butterfly pull-up. So the butterfly pull-up, a couple of uh, things that I want to talk about, the most important one being the kip. So in a kipping pull-up, you're moving from horizontal to vertical. With a butterfly pull-up, you're moving global extension to global flexion. So what that looks like, a good way to practice is to find a box or a bar that's low enough for you to be able to have bent knees. Okay. On the bar here, you're going to start just like you would a kipping pull-up with that open Superman, and then you're going to move into flexion, falling into extension. This is the movement for that kip on the butterfly pull-up. So you're just making a large circle with your body. Second part, starting with small circles. This is important because what it does is it allows you to develop control through the movement. It also helps you develop coordination and rhythm. You already have the strength to do the movement because you're doing kipping pull-ups, you have your strict pull-ups. So now it's all about coordination and rhythm at this point. Uh, third thing, being patient. Being patient in this movement, when people start to rush through, or what I see the most is people when they rush through the uh, butterfly pull-up when they're learning, is they tend to want to just use their arms. So they start pulling really fast through their arms, but they're not using their hips at all in order to generate the movement. So the goal of this is be patient, start with small circles. And what's going to happen, I'll show you here in a sec, is that when you start to start with small circles, you figure out that rhythm, that coordination, you figure out how to use your hips you'll notice that the movement will start getting bigger and you'll start moving yourself uh, underneath that pull-up bar. So don't even worry on this part. When you first start with those small circles, don't worry about getting your chin above the bar just yet. So when you start, nice, tight control. I'm using my hips as I get more comfortable with the movement. I start to use more hips, more drive, and then eventually, you get into the rhythm of your butterfly pull-up. So, small circles. Don't focus so much in the beginning about chin above the bar. Be patient, don't rush through it. That's all, all it's gonna do is kill your power and your rhythm. Uh, last thing here, legs straight and together. Okay, this creates for a more efficient butterfly pull-up. So, a lot of people learn the uh, reverse bicycle. Not a huge fan of that because it creates bad habit. When you start to break in the knees, you lose power from your hips. So your hips are the driving force. When we do that reverse bicycle, we want to use our knees as, a, as an example for getting ourselves up to the pull-up bar, which in that case is going to require to use more arms, you're going to fatigue faster, and kind of defeats the whole purpose of that butterfly pull-up. Also, keeping the legs together. So the further away that your limbs are from uh, midline, the harder it's going to be. So think about being more efficient by being nice and tight and generating the power through your hips, feet together, big kip, and that'll piece together your butterfly pull-up. Uh, a couple of things here, practice. So just like when you're learning your double unders, not a high school movement. The high school movement is the kipping pull-up or the strict pull-up but it's about coordination and rhythm here, and the only way that you're gonna be able to nail that down is practice. So practice, practice, practice. Uh, small quality sets, so when you get on the bar, do what you're comfortable with, small sets. Don't start to break and try to continue and find that rhythm. Once you start to break in your butterfly pull-up, or you find your, that you're off the rhythm of coordination, drop off the bar, shake it out, reset. Uh, you don't wanna develop bad habits by doing that. Um, and then last, speed. So the more efficient that you become with the movement, the faster you can start to work through it. So I'm going to hop up, I'll show you kind of basic, slow, and then how you can start to progress to get faster. And that guy's a short.